<laughs> what is up my beautiful Marmars? Welcome to my kitchen. I just wanted to say hello to like a hundred thousand of you new people or even more new people that are watching this. Welcome to my channel. I post every single day at 12 p.m. It could be a DIY, a gaming video, a vlog. It could be almost anything, but I just really love posting videos. So hit the subscribe button and come hang out with us and you can be a Marmar too if you want. I mean, or if you don't want, whatever, it's fine. Today we're making something I can eat, kind of. I, I don't, okay, I had this weird thought in my head and it's, yeah, it's in the title. It's called condensed milk j gummy something. I don't know, let's just make it. Let's just, let's do it. I'm excited, let's just make it right now. Woo! All right, so you're gonna wanna boil some water. Then you're gonna add four envelopes of unflavored gelatin. Bam, straight into the water. Make sure you mix that all around. Ooh, this is hot, this is so hot. Sometimes unflavored gelatin is very stubborn. Trust me, I'm like the Jello king. I've made so much Jello. You just gotta let it sit and boil and dissolve into it. So you wanna go ahead and grab your condensed milk, open it up, and just pour about half the can into it until you cover the bottom of this pan. Put it around, and it's gonna turn into this like white color. That's what we want. Great, now it's all mixed. You're gonna wash this out in your sink. Get it all nice and clean. Woo! All you're gonna need now is your can. Take a little bit of cooking oil and just line it. So that later when we make our gel, it doesn't stick. Just pour it on in. And put it in the fridge. Nice. For the filling, we're gonna use our own homemade whipped cream. Whipped cream, it's a lot actually easier than you think. You're just gonna need some heavy whipping cream. Well, this is like some very heavy whipping cream. I like to use powdered sugar because it incorporates very well into the, the whipped cream. You know, diabetes. My whipped cream into a figure eight like this. And you just wanna incorporate this air that is going into the whipped cream. Woo, this is a workout, holy crap. When it starts to get a little bit thicker like this, you go ahead and add your vanilla extract. My uncle used to say, make it brown. So I love vanilla extract, so it doesn't really matter how much to me you add, but some people like to use a certain amount. I just like to add a lot because vanilla is delicious. And then you just go ahead and continue with your figure eights here. You just do small figure eights, big figure eights, whatever you want to do, just whip this cream up. You see that peak right there, how it just formed? You have some peaks here. You can stop there if you want. You've already have whipped cream right about here. Keep going if you want, but don't go too much because if you keep going too far, you're going to get whipped butter. So you just want to stay around this general area where it's like, there's some peaks there. That's that's called the peaks. See how it's like pointy? That's a peak. It's like a little mountain. So I'm going to go ahead and just whip it one last time. Bam. Have this nice peaky whipped cream. All right. Here is the gel. Here is the jello condensed milk right here. So you can see it's very interesting. So I forgot about this lip right here. So hopefully I can cut it off so I can get the jello out, but I didn't really think about this. It's really not gonna come out unless I figure out how to cut this off. Maybe if I like go like this and put this can opener on the side, you know, and then just cut into the can opener like so. Oh, wait, it kind of works. Be very careful of the metal. I've already cut myself, you can see right here of the metal, so be very gentle. Advanced technique of just shaking the can very, very hard technique. I'm like, I'm trying. <sighs> so much like arm movements today, you know, this one's like up and down, like, <sighs> my arm is gonna be so buff after this. Uh, uh, mm. Dang it, oh, it's coming out a little, it's working. Okay, let's keep going. Gotta just go up and down. Get super buff arm. <laughs> okay, okay, we got it. It came out. Whew. The white stuff came out. After I just moved my arm really fast. Yes. Okay. As you can see, we have this condensed milk gelatin that's infused. Let's milk gelatin and make sure we get like a nice slice right here. This time I'm actually like trying really hard to slice it. And it's really like pretty really tough actually. About the same thickness. Look kind of like some mozzarella. Ah, there we go. Next part, you need some strawberries and some blueberries. A spoonful of your whipped cream and just place a nice little dollop right in the center. Just make it nice and puffy. Right, right in the center there, like that. This is of your strawberry and just place it along the line. 
there. And I like to slice mine a little bit thinner. I'm gonna place blueberries all along it. And you have these beautiful condensed milk gummy. done look at this these are beautiful look at this condensed milk on top of this like strawberry and the condensed milk gummy under it oh my gosh this condensed milk cake under it is gonna be interesting i'm really excited to try it i don't know what it's gonna taste like but uh let's go ahead and take a bite out of this one because this has a, this is like the hybrid version that has everything on it whipped cream strawberry and the blueberry let's try it out That's very interesting because if you like flan, which I know a lot of you guys probably like flan because who doesn't like flan? I forget one of the main ingredients in flan is condensed milk. And this funny enough is just like flan, just it has a lot thicker consistency. It's like a, a jello flan basically. And then there's the whipped cream on top, so it makes it nice and creamy. And there's the blueberries and the strawberries, and it's all very, actually quite nice. I'm like, wow, I'm very impressed. And then I have more condensed milk on top, you know, just for added diabetes. Holy crap, that's really good. I love flan. I, mean, I didn't know this was gonna turn out this way. Honestly, I was just about to make a gummy condensed milk, but then I was like, how can I make this taste good? And for some reason, whipped cream and fruit, just, you can't go wrong with that. Mmm. Mm. Well, thank you guys so much for watching me make my, I guess, flan cake, jello gummy, condensed milk creation today. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my DIY. I post a video every single day at 12 p.m. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. And thank you to everyone who's a new subscriber these past few months. Thank you guys for just watching my videos and supporting me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. Peace, Marmars. Hello, you beautiful Marmars, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making something you can eat, kinda. We're gonna be making hot Cheetos puffs into a prank. I mean, yeah, you can, you can, you can eat it, I think. All right, let's, let's, let's go, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go make it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a cereal you don't really like, such as this one, and dump it into a bag that looks like this. Then, you're gonna wanna get your Cheetos puffs right here, and go ahead and 